Did, did you have any siblings growing up? Uh, so my dad has four children. What five including me? I'm the youngest. I'm the youngest on both sides. My mama only got two, me and my older brother. But I'm the youngest on both sides. We well, up yeah, here, yeah. Growing up, like, what was it like for you being like the youngest? <laughs> so hey, depending on who the fuck you ask, bro. Right. Some like my sister say I was spoiled as a bitch. Yeah. My brother just say like I was real anti. I can believe him though, cause I'm still that to this day. Like I don't really be on people like that. But um, it just depends on who you talking to. If you ask me personally, like having them siblings, it was cool. Like cause I they was always older, so I would go to their house. Yeah. I would go to their house to kick shit. Like when me and my mama probably bump heads yeah. for real. Yo. So growing up in Macon, like, you know, talk about like who who was Swain like before he got out as a director and the artist, like more like who was you like growing hey, up? No cap, bro. There's no cap. Yeah. Oh, but uh yeah, but before all of this bro, I feel like I mean I'm still the same person. Like I'm more wiser because every day, every minute, hour, year, I'm more wiser, but I always been quiet, observant, mm -hmm. uh solid, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know. I just got multiple layers of me, bro, but for the most part, bro, I just always been, like, real observing, and the fact that I was out in the streets earlier on, and when I say out in the streets, I don't mean, like, selling dope or no shit like that, but I was around my older brothers and cousins and homies who was, so I just seen that shit earlier, so that shit just, it just taught me how to maneuver, you know what I'm saying, but I was in the sports heavy, too, you know, like, I've been playing, you know, I played basketball from, uh, like, First grade to all the way up to college, so I was doing that too. You know, I played basketball, but uh, yeah, you know, what I'm saying? that's how I, that, that's how I was growing up. Like I always been the same person, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, what what did you like see yourself growing up? You know, what I'm saying becoming to be like what, and what? The, the typical shit. For real, for real. I uh, I, I I was passionate about basketball, bro. Anything I ever do. I do it, one, because I know I can put my mind to it, and whatever it is, I'm going to put my all in it, so I just knew I was, and they fucked the NBA, bro. I mean, you had those thoughts growing up playing sports, NFL, or going pro in the NBA, but I was so passionate about the, the sport, I was like, bro, I can go overseas, I don't even care about NBA, because I'm 5'6", I'm 5'7", five, five, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, fuck it, as long as I can still play ball and get paid overseas, y'all can have that. Um, but I fucked around, I got hurt in college, so. Uh, yeah, that killed that. It killed that, man. Yeah, yeah. Talk about growing up. I know you, you said you was always in the art and stuff like that. Like, talk about growing up and first noticing um, a music scene and making a music scene outside of that. Yeah. Your first music experience, your first directing, and then actually noticing, damn, that's dope. That's, that's a dope director. That's so, a dope move. Uh, when did you first, you know? Yeah, that's a Your good question, bro. Creator. Yeah, that's a good question. So my my parents are older, bro, like by by a good margin. So I grew up with uh, I was kind of ahead. Of, I was always ahead of the game because I had I was looking up to them, right? So like for music, like my mama my mama went to prom with Otis Red and brother, like you know what I'm saying, and like it was her early on with the music influence. My dad too, kind of so, but my, but my dad played, like that nigga just kind of did his own thing. But my mama, like I was glued to her hip. So like, we would ride around and she would play her favorite tunes. Um, my brother kind of did the same shit when I would ride with him, like play his favorite music. And that would be so different, you know what I'm saying? It would be so different, like. And then you gotta think, I'm in private school too, so I'm hearing the vibes that they doing when I'm at private school too and I just um and my mama I go back to saying she's a school teacher bro so you know what I'm saying like definitely she had a big influence on like prompting me to be open minded and just experience and, and take influ like being influenced by everything yeah. so um that was that piece as far as like that but um I could draw like real like really really good so yeah. art came from me coloring and drawing yeah. um, on a smaller scale uh yeah, but as I got older, because I'm always like a nigga that likes to research and look up shit, so I just would read cool shit yeah. and take from it, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, but get it, but fast forward to like high school and shit like that, oh man, I just was into people that just brought something different, whether yeah. it was music, clothes, 
fucking architecture. I just like seeing cool shit. Yeah, I don't care what it is, bro. Yeah. Like you can have on a bracelet. If that shit cool, that shit hard. Yeah. So um, I just was like, I started reading up on like Andy Warhol, Basquiat, um, people like that. You know what I'm saying? David Bowie, you know, Elton John, just people with different. Marilyn Manson. I'm into every. I can I can literally sit down and give you everything background and what they did. Like to the teeth. Titty man, she that like a limousine. I'm a real pants on me and they fitted me. She eating up, she like busy me. Change my neck, way sprinkling. No, she can't come if she.